fair. We're live here, and there is one visitor that is not welcome. We don't want to see you, hear from you. Unfortunately, the party crasher is the Yellow Jacket. Todd Lisi from uh, Adams Pest Control is here to talk more about where these Yellow Jackets are attracted to and what exactly is a Yellow Jacket. So first of all, what is a Yellow Jacket compared to a bee? Yellow Jackets are actually in the wasp family, and they can sting you multiple times, whereas the bee's got to give up his life to sting you. And they're attracted to trash and dumpsters, sweets, proteins, that sort of thing, especially this time of year. Okay, we're standing next to a trash can right now, and this is probably the place you want to be very careful around at the fair. Tell me, why do the Yellow Jackets get so uh, interested in these trash bins? Well, they, they need the sugar, they need the carbohydrates, and... Uh, they're, they're, this is just an easy site for them to go on and find it. So you got to be careful when you're throwing stuff away when you're opening that lid. Okay, and people are drinking a lot of fluids out here, and uh, there's uh, Coca-Cola here, and that's got a lot of very uh, intense sugars in it. The Yellow Jackets seem to like that a lot. Yeah, they they definitely like that. You definitely want to try to drink pop out of a out of a cup like that, or out of a bottle where you can cover it. When you're drinking out of a can, that's where. Sometimes the yellow jack will fly inside the can. You go to take a drink, and all of a sudden you have one in your mouth stinging you on the tongue. Okay, so say a swarm of yellow jackets starts uh, being attracted to you. What should you do, and what should you not do? Well, don't panic. Just try to get away from them. But if you start swiping at them and swatting them, they're going to get even more aggressive. So just try to get away from them as fast as you can. And I know a lot of kids uh, are out here eating some sweet treats. When kids are uh, uh, eating, they should probably wash their hands right away, and that's because the sugars get on their hands. But uh, how should you keep your kids safe out here? Yeah, just keep the hands clean. You don't want to be an extra attractant for them. And then have them look before they go and take a bite of something, because if there is something that's landed on it, you certainly don't want to be putting that in your mouth. And what should people do if they find that they're having a problem with yellow jackets at their home? Well, usually they're going to be in a hole in the ground or in, in the house, the siding. And don't plug up that hole and don't spray the hole with an over-the-counter insecticide because that will just kill a few of them, but they can literally chew through sheetrock and find their way into your house. The best thing to do is call a professional. And if you see yellow jackets uh, and you call the professional, how fast can you clear it up? Um, response time is usually for most companies same day, next day, and, and uh, the problem is usually solved within a day. All right, so there you have it. The yellow jackets are uh, not to be confused with bees. Bees, of course, are friends. They take care of things, make the honey, but the yellow jackets are definitely scavengers and cause a lot of trouble. So call your pest control. Call Adam's Pest Control specifically to get rid of those yellow jackets. We're going to be right back, and we've got more animals, and the weather is coming right up.